Hey guys and girls, it's Russ from RussHelpATI.com. Today we're going to be talking briefly about genetics. You often hear the subject brought up in gyms around the world, people saying, oh my, it's my genetics, is why I can't do this, why I can't do that. And while that's true to a degree, I just want to show you why a lot of people use this to, to hold themselves back, maybe even use it as an excuse that, that they shouldn't do. Um, obviously genetics are very important, you know, particularly with fitness. You'll get certain people who are able to get results a lot easier than other people, like people like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm sure you know a lot of people that have you know, lifted heavy weights, uh, ate everything in sight, and maybe even used steroids, but they can't seem to get in the top sort of shape which was, which was achieved by the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger, because, or any other pro bodybuilder these days, um, because they, they're naturally sort of gifted in that area. Everyone's built for something. Generally, if you, if you feel like you're not, then it's just because you haven't found it yet. All right? um, some people naturally talented when it comes to things like football. You know, those players that, you get those ones that have to work and work and work, toil away for years, and then you get somebody else who just seems to have effortless skill, they're just blessed in that area. Um, so genetics are very important, but when it comes to the gym, they often hold you back when they shouldn't. Because have you ever known anybody that uh, says, uh, I, I, hope I'm get, uh, I hope I'm not getting a headache, or I can feel one coming on, and 20 minutes later they've kind of given themselves a headache just from thinking about it. Uh, same sort of thing can happen with your genetics. You know, people hear this brought up in a gym, and all of a sudden they've got an area of their body they're not happy with, and they start telling themselves that's why they can't do it. It's not that they can need to work on it more. Uh, for instance, it's not that they need to work on their biceps more, or they need to work on the, the fat around the lower part of their stomach more. It's that they can't do it, and all of a sudden they've just lost all their motivation and they're holding themselves back. So don't let this happen to you, okay? Um, two good examples actually, which were just touched upon there, for instance, a lot of guys that can't develop the, the lower part of their, their biceps. Um, I often hear people saying, you know, one guy a few months ago actually was asking me, why can't I do this? This isn't my genetics. My friends have said it's my genetics. It's the way I'm built. And I said, no, I've been watching you in the gym and what you're doing when you're doing curls is you're cheating the weight on every rep and you're ignoring the negative phase. You're not doing full reps. Um, so we got them doing that so all the way down with full reps, um, which is engaging the entire muscle and focusing on the negative as well. He's, he was cutting about 50% of his own results out of his program uh, from, without realizing. And also he wasn't doing anything for his forearms. So, you know, they, they looked a bit out of proportion. So we got him doing reverse curls. And two months later, he was like, I convinced myself it was genetics and then I couldn't do it. And it's now making progress and he's realized it was just in his head. Um, another good example with exercise is Leg raise. You know, a lot of people don't like that. The pain that you get at the bottom of the leg raise, the, the, the end of the move when your feet almost touch the floor, uh, that's of course where the results are, but they shy away, you know, they hide away from that pain in the top three quarters of the rep. And then they moan that they can't target the bottom part of the stomach with a stubborn area of fat. That's a good exercise for doing that, but they kind of sell themselves short even though they're performing the move and they'll say, oh, you know, it must just be the way I'm built, and it's not. You, you just, Sometimes little things like that, and you also as an instructor, I mean, over at my gym I get asked all the time, you know, people saying, I feel like I can't lose weight no matter what. And when you lay down the facts and you say, look, go to your doctor, check if you've got any medical issues. If you don't have any medical issues, such as thyroids and stuff like that, um, then you're doing something wrong in either your diet or your program, so we'll have a look at what you're doing. Um, either way, it's one or the other, okay, there's no middle ground, let's not talk about genetics until you're actually punching towards your genetic ceiling, um, which by that stage you'd already be in pretty good shape, so you don't need to add extra stress with stuff like this. I'm going to give you guys an example as well as to what this can do, I'm going to use me as the example. If you guys have been watching our videos from the start, you'll notice if you go back to our first few videos, I'm noticeably bigger, you know, I, I used to do the whole couple of years back I was doing the whole you know personal trainer get big that sort of approach I weighed about 90 kilos I'm not sure what that is in pounds quite a lot well over 200 pounds um, and I like I went for that whole sort of bigger arms bigger chest approach but it never really suited me you know uh, I didn't I felt sluggish I felt quite slow and um, so I took about six months off work back in I think it was the late part of 2010 and I was just looking after my, my young son and I started working out at home doing high intensity stuff. And what amazed me was, you know, the, the sort of workouts that you see on our channel now, in every workout was 20 minutes at home, no equipment. I would do it when my son was asleep on the afternoon, having his nap. Of course, <laughs> he, he would get up on the, the afternoon and be looking at me like, I'd be flat on the floor. <laughs> He'd have that look on his face like, 
what the hell happens when I go for a nap? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was different to anything I'd really adapted before in my own training, but it certainly worked. You know, I wanted to cut down. And for years, when I first got into training, because I always went for big and bulky, I used to always think, you know, I'm never going to be able to see any kind of development with my abs. I, I was just always naturally big. I used to tell myself it's just the way I'm built, it's my genetics. I started doing different types of training, started getting into CrossFit, Rocky style workouts. Um, a lot of body weight stuff that I've put on our channel for you guys. Um, and you can see here, this was, I think, three days ago. Uh, we'll put that, we put the video on there, or a picture or something, uh, so that you can have a look. And you can see now, you know, the, the difference here, I've dropped to 76 kilos, which is t about 20 kilos, which is a lot. We, we do kilos here in the UK, but that's about 45 pounds uh, that I dropped. Um, I feel leaner, stronger, quicker. I, I prefer it, you know, I prefer to be fitter rather than bigger. It's just my own preference, obviously. But for years, again, that's a good example, because for years I was telling myself, oh, it's just the way I'm built, you know, I'll never be able to see any kind of development in my abs or anything like that. And it's just, I just needed to change my training, what, change what I was doing, that's all. So do not be fooled that your genetics are going to stop you from doing the basic things in the gym. You can get in pretty good shape before you even have to look and anything like that. It's, that's why it's a big issue in bodybuilding, because it has to be, because to get at the very top, you would have to be genetically blessed as well. But if you're just trying to get into good shape, you don't need to worry about things like that unless you've got an actual medical issue preventing you from doing it. Okay? Um, hopefully today's video has helped you guys. Maybe you've got this nonsense, I, th I think needless stress that people put on themselves. Maybe you just got that out of your head if you were thinking about that. Okay? So, more from me every week on our YouTube page, just subscribe and go check out the blog and the Facebook page if you want to ask me any questions. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.